With no time to spare, the Allfather looked to the opinion of the legendary Varger commander, Henry the Red. What action should his beleaguered forces take? Our skies are filled with the attack crafts of our enemy. If our forces were to attempt to travel over land, they would be cut down in short order. If we are to save our people, we must steal ourselves and take to the underworld. What commander? What of the creatures that dwell there? The wolf fears not the creatures of the darkness, for it is one itself. We have no time. Make yourself ready, my Varger warriors. Yes, sir. Just then, a message was received. Arch Coordinator Aether, calling the Allfather of Hugin. We have just intercepted an encoded message from the deceitful algorithm. Our intelligence has identified that the Ostmen possess an enriched nuclear weapon, no doubt provided by House Creek Dory. While the Concord is indeed a ravenous foe, if they were to succeed, they would dare not break our non-aggression pact. We cannot sit idly by and allow House Great Dory to gain a foothold in this sector. With the approval of the High Council, I have been authorized to lead an attack to declaw these feral forces. SD Commander Hojo, out. More enemies, Commander? It matters not. The halls of Valhalla sing our names to the cave and to glorious victory or death. What's up, everybody? I'm Kevin. And I'm Sergey. And we are the Tabletop Warlords. And once again, we find ourselves playing a game of Beyond the, the Gates, Gates of Antares. Today, we will, of course, be continuing the campaign inspired by our generous patron, Michael, Michael Crow. Stop. If you don't know what we're talking about, check out this video. It'll take you to the very beginning of this campaign. As the narrative has stated, today we'll be fighting a battle on the cave table. Ooh. Under the crust of the earth. But this time I will not be facing the C3. Nay, I will be facing the honorable Algren Prosperit, who has decided to betray us because we rejected their offer of a treaty. That's right, the dastardly Algren have ambushed Henry in the cave, and for this in particular scenario, unfortunately, the, the super qualified scientist that has been, you know, attending to the nuke has gone like missing. He's run into the, into the darkness, fleeing the Algrid ambush. Henry the Red is a great warrior, but a nuclear technician he is not. So we really need to find this scientist in order to enact our plan. Everybody's like getting real nervous. He's getting real like antsy with yeah, the button. He's he's like, we do like... not need him. <laughs> Not only must I contend with Algren infiltrators lurking in the mushroom forests, but I must also contend with a subterranean invasive species, the Viridian Viper. <laughs> Enough preamble, let's get this table set up and the model's cracking. <laughs> you went so very fancy with that one. <laughs> Here we have the battlefield today. That's right, that cave board is back in full regalia. Looking like a snack, if I do say so myself. I'm sorry, I'm really into the cave board. Definitely trying to slide into its DMs now. <laughs> so we have it all set up. Uh, you can see uh, the scenario. Now, we didn't even name the scenario in the opening. The scenario is going to be called Lost in the Dark. And that's because the Algren have executed their uh, lightning ambush in an attempt to stop the forces of Hugin. Uh, and like we described in the uh, beginning, the scientist is going to have basically just run away. And they are hiding in the mushroom forests that are these area terrain bases that uh, kind of occupy the center of the field. Now, also like we described in the beginning, these spots are going to potentially be infested with Viridian Vipers. Now, if you want the stats for the Viridian Vipers, check out this little card that'll take you to the video in which we first talked about all those rules. Um, and basically, this scenario is as follows. The victory condition is the person who gets the or finds the scientist and gets them off of their own home edge is going to be the victor. We will still have kill count uh, just for fun, but the way that you find the scientist is anybody who moves into any of these area trains with an advance or a run is going to roll a D4. So the first roll on a roll of a one, you will find the scientist. Anything else, you're gonna find a, a, a group of Viridian Vipers that will then automatically charge you. Um, and 
it's gonna basically get easier as time goes on. So after someone searches one spot, the results on a two, a one or a two will find the scientist and so forth. So uh, it'll become easier as time goes on. Now, our forces are going to be starting on the short edges of the table. You can see the Ostmen have been uh, aligned on this edge. They're one movement in and uh, half the force is gonna be on turn one. So uh, Sergey has opted to bring on his mercenaries mostly. It's two Viridian, uh, I'm sorry, Viridian, two uh, Vardinari squads. And then we also have a uh, one of the coolest of the new feral units, which is like basically a warhound unit uh, using Angris warhounds. And then Henry himself. Now Henry has a uh, new, uh, new accessory here, and that is the uh, floating uh, via compactor drone, enriched nuclear weapon. Now, this nu nuclear weapon is without a scientist, so we're gonna hopefully, hopefully he'll find that in the course of this battle. Uh, on the Algren side, we have two infiltrator squads uh, flanking the uh, main force, which is the Algorin commander Hojo herself. She's gonna count as a vector command squad uh, with plasma rifles or plasma carbines rather. And then there is a, a unit of hazard squad, which is one of my favorite units in the game. Now, uh, the other half of the Algorin force is just going to be three uh, vector AI squads. And the other half of the Ostman force is going to be three squads of Varga warriors and a uh, medic team. So those will arrive on turn two. And yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a wild fight in the center, complete with monsters and this beautiful cave table. So let's get the minis, uh, uh, ro minis rolling, the dice rolling and see how this goes. Go to the turn one with each force being halved. We each have four order dice on the field. Die one, turn one. The Ostman of Hugen. My Vardinari are going to sprint up the field. Uh, I want to be able to test this, uh, I don't know, if as soon as possible is best, but I just don't want him to get it first. It would be really, really bad if they got a hand on my scientist. Spring check. Oh! Ooh. Well, actually, no, it's, it's still just one thing. There's no, like, no very soft. Yeah. Still. <laughs> oh, I'll find your scientist. But not right now. <laughs> soon, soon. <laughs> My feral beast masters are going to sprint up the field. What a cool unit! I really, oh, I'm so glad really, that Tim added them. Really like so this cool. Unit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need to find more alien models so that it doesn't have to necessarily be the same as the Huck. Like I, I definitely need to get something. Maybe space raptors. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> Brand check, and we're good. Algorithm. Much in the same way, my Algren infiltrators will now sprint across the field. So they're gonna sprint up as close as they can get to that area terrain. I, of course, has to do a sprint check. And it, it should be noted that uh, we didn't use the infiltrator oh, yeah, for yeah, this, because yeah. it would kind of instant win this. Yeah, that wouldn't be very fair. So yeah. I've <laughs> lost and I get a pin. Mostly. Henry the Red is going to sprint up the field following his troops and providing his excellent bubble of command. It is to be noted that the warhead can totally sprint because it's kind of just there for looking cool. It's kind of yeah, it's like a it's like a pet in an MMO. <laughs> Once again, though, Henry's making everybody nervous with his like. <laughs> like yeah, he's like, I, I do not know how this thing works. Yeah, he's just like dragging it around as fast as they can go. Like, Will you be careful with that? They're like, nah, we'll be we'll be fine. <laughs> a man does not fear the explosion. <laughs> and I fail again. Holy they. The vile Algorand. Next, my honky chonky hazard squads will run as well. They can actually sprint now in version two, and that's gonna be nice, but their agility is four and garbage. Ah, so I take a pit. Everyone has been taking pins. Yes. Nobody's been doing their cardio. Algorin. Next, my second infiltrator squad will, oh my gosh, guess what? Sprint yeah, towards right. the objectives. <laughs> Not a lot of creativity going on this turn. It's just, just, just a rush. So agility five, normal agility, they're good. So they don't take a pin. Look at you. Ostman. My last unit of Vardinari are going to, again, you guessed it, sprint up the field. They're going says. to be hedging my other objective over here. Unless I, Find him on the first try, which I want to do. <laughs> Come on! Damn it! That was a seven. Yeah. With the Ostman out of the way, the Algren at the final dice in the bag. My final unit is the Algren commander herself, and she is going to once again sprint to right behind the Hazard Squad. Sprint check. Five. I'm good. 
It's a mad dash for the center, each army growing winded as they sprint towards the middle of the field. The Viper is lying in wait. However, each army is going to get reinforcements this turn. It's still anyone's game. Going into turn two, like Sergei said, we got full forces now, meaning the Osman have eight order dice in the bag and the Algorin now have seven. Turn two, dice one. The Algorin. Okay, so I get the first turn, so I might as well try to turn the objective first. So I'm gonna use my hazard squad, which I first need to take a leadership test, which I'm good, so I lose the pin. Uh, and now I'm going to normal run right in to the edge of this terrain. Okay. And be like, scientist, are you home? This is a fateful roll. If he rolls a one here, I'm so screwed. Come on. Yeah. Two! Oh, Damn it! God. So I have unfortunately found uh, that this is a Viridian Viper yeah. Den. You've wrestled the Viper Den. Now that I've entered and figured out that there are going to be Vipers, I must generate the Viper Den. So we're gonna roll a D10, determine randomly. Oh, so two inches from this unit right here. So I'm just gonna place it right here. And a unit of Viridian Vipers appears, snapping jaws and slathering and whatnot. Now this little squiggly unit of Viridian Vipers generates an order dice, but once again, the way we figure out who gets to use them is by the next die pool. Whoever's dice is not pulled gets to immediately act as the Viridian Viper before the dice that is pulled. So who gets to go next and who gets to control the Vipers? Ah, ah, ah. I get the Vipers, but the Ostman go right afterwards. As I have won the roll, I shall now Role play that the Viridian Vipers <laughs> oh, yeah. are terrified. Oh, yeah. This is your thematic role yes, play. Yes, they have an agility of, of eight. Oh my god. <laughs> Just like the nine. Vipers. So they are nine. They're going to get a single pin, but they have run away. My Vardenari squad is going to. I actually think I'm going to go up into the middle of this piece of terrain, just in case it. The scientist isn't there, then I maybe want to move forward, you know? Makes sense. Um, so I do need to do a command test. I want command 10, that was a 9 because Henry? of Henry, and I'm good. And I'm not sprinting. It does slow you down. Oh, is this difficult to Yeah, you have to do an agility test. Uh, maybe I'll just go to the edge then. Um, that, yeah. No. So, but still, I, I declared it, so I'm keeping it. That's probably the better bet. Yep. Now, the chance is better. You actually yes. have a 50-50 chance to find the scientist. On a one or a two, I find the scientist. Oh, oh brutal. Uh -oh. Okay, so now roll a d10 to determine where the Viridian Viper did erupts from the air. <sighs> the Vipers erupt from the dirt in an incredibly inconvenient spot for me. Um, I'm really hoping I get to control these guys. I hope you don't. Last time we used Vipers, they really favored me, and I don't think it's gonna happen this time. Yay! <laughs> so I get the Vipers, but Sergey goes next. Now these Viridian Vipers are substantially more brave than the last batch. Oh so, yeah, that's, yeah, again, your, <laughs> ah! your, your role play here is so accurate. Yeah, I'm, I'm Viper mentality. I'm like sitting here, I'm like, how would a Viper snake think <laughs> if it was made of 100% butt cheek? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> do 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 do. This is a TTW context alert. That joke probably didn't make any sense, and that is because it is a reference to a scene that ended up on the cutting room floor. Now, for your humorous pleasure, a glimpse into the past. Well, since I've gained control of these, I'm going to assume that they, like, Zoidberg run away because they're terrified of my hulking hazard squad. So I have an agility of eight. Or they have an agility of eight, which means they do not gain a pin, and they're going to sprint their little butts. If they, well, I don't know, do snakes have butts? I don't know. Are they all butt? <laughs> Maybe they're all butt, but they're going all the way over here. So, oh yeah, that's, yeah. again, your, <laughs> ah! your, your role play here is so accurate yeah, I'm, I'm viper role, mentality. I'm like sitting here, I'm like, how would a viper snake think if it was made of 100% butt cheek? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> agility eight, I am obviously sprinting. Oh, I get a pin, I'm screwed. Uh, but I don't crazy. have shooting, so, you know, it is what it is. But that means the Vardenari with their strike value, or, I'm sorry, their accuracy of six, now get to shoot. You want to do one shot or two shot rapid fire? 
your what's your res is only five. Okay. <laughs> I'll do rapid fire. My point blank shooting the gunless vipers. Ooh, ah, well that was okay. That was pretty good actually. So that's four hits, three of which were luckies, but it doesn't matter. I can only keep one. So I need to re-roll the other three. And this, this was a seven, uh, or this, this was a one is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so I only hit twice, which is not great. I'm um, strike value zero and they're res five. One is dead, the other survives. And they receive a second pin. I kill off one of the vipers, but uh, we are now striking in close combat. Uh, they have uh, two attacks, each at strength value one, and they're at strength seven, seven because they, they charge. charge. Yep. I'm at strength five, unfortunately. Do we have grenades? Yeah, they have plasma grenades. So plasma at least you're at strength okay. value one. I'll take it. Vipers! Ooh, the vipers all hit and technically can stack one. And strike them back. Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So three hits. With the lucky, I am going to actually choose to have one of them randomly attack a drone. He thought it was a tasty treat, and now he's got like microchips in his stomach. Once again, your worm role play. Spot on. I am a worm. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, okay, pretty good, pretty good. And I'm fine. Or wait, no. Or yeah, yeah, that would be yeah, yeah, So yeah. I actually don't receive any pins, which Oof. is fantastic. Yeah, because only with the hyperlight booster, your res is literally eight right now. You also have impact cloaks. Yeah. One of the worms takes two strike value. Oh, I'm sorry, it's two strike value ones, it becomes a two, and either way it's dead. And then the last one is fine. So it actually survives, but I do have three pins and lost to combat. Oh, oh my god! They, so they lose a pin and don't die from this. So I guess we continue on. So real quick, I hit you once. Take out my leader. He's good, and then I strike you back. A bunch. Wow! I hit you one! Yeah, get wrecked. Come on! I don't think I'm gonna be able to pass two leadership tests. Oh, it doesn't matter, you kill me. So, okay. okay. <laughs> so, all of the worms are dead to no effect to uh, the Vardenari. Oh, wait, I killed the Hyperlight booster, that's right. And I get a consolidation. Now, I do get a consolidation move, so I'll move one inch back to get out of the terrain. And then I'll move four inches forward. I want us to start thundering towards this terrain over here. Hopefully, pick it up. And this is my final position. Now that the Viridian Vipers are out of the way, I can use my Warhounds. Um, and they are going to sprint. Ooh. Oh, come on. <laughs> and get right up into this terrain. I will receive the pin. Okay, now once again, say just be edging in here. A seventy-five percent chance, please, that you will find the scientist. I need to roll anything other than a four. Come on! Yes! <laughs> you find the scientist. I have found the scientist. Unfortunately, the scientist is just in a shooting gallery for the. Algorin, so we'll see if uh, he lives this way. Ospin. This unit is no longer very relevant, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to get them all the way up in Kevin's business by sprinting all the way over here. I uh, do need to do a sprint check for my charge, and I get a one. Well, you need oh, to do a, a command leadership test. test. So we'll call that the sprint check because that's what I said. Okay. So leadership test. Oh, also a one. <laughs> so you get it. <laughs> Oh, don't call them the deadliest mercenaries in the sector for nothing, right? Is that what, do they call them that? That's what I said. That's what you're, you're The you're narrator. Right <laughs> um, so, okay, so then you are going to, you did sprint. I don't you actually don't have, any, yeah. have shooting, so you get to shoot. To sprint, yeah. um, are you going to opt to do rapid fire once again? Uh, the rapid fire didn't really work out for me last time. I'm going to just, just try to vaporize it. Yeah, just try to vaporize it. So five shots. Oof. Uh, all right, shooting. Uh, so that's two luckies. Um, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. There's just one on everyone. They're all strike value two, and so you're at three to save. All so dead. All dead. Consolidation, baby. That's 20 inches of movement. 
So Sergey just rocket jumped using. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've used these guys as like a Mario Kart speed boost. Mario? Who are you like? Oh, Seventy years old. But... <laughs> yeah. These pokey man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is my Vardenari spinal positioning, threatening Kevin's entire flank. Ooh, Ospin again. Henry the Red is just going to do a mild uh, move forward here. He doesn't need to pass. Oh, he goes down! I can't, I can't figure out how to get this thing to move. What, what, what? <laughs> he just jumps on the nuke and is trying to ride it. Yeah. Henry, get off of there! Get off! <laughs> ah, finally, the algorithm! I shall move my infiltrator squad now. I must pass on a leadership test. Oh, I got a nine, so I also go down. <laughs> oh my god, come on! <laughs> Ospin! And I'm sprinting on with my medics, they need a sprint check, and of course fail. Yeah. <laughs> They're doctors, they didn't go to like war college. <laughs> war college. The war college where they learn how to do sprints. Elgrin. I must quickly work to reposition. And so Commander Hojo is going to use this opportunity to once again sprint, getting as far over into this side of the battlefield as possible. I must uh, Russ, roll an agility. Oh, I went wild with that one. I got a six, though, so I do take a pin from that action. Algorithm. Now I'm going to start having units arrive from the edge of the table. Now I'm going to choose this uh, half, my half of the long edge, uh, to come in to be more, a little more aggressive. But I still, Sergey positioned himself really well with that cover, so I'm going to actually sprint again with this unit and kind of just moving them closer to where the commander is because now her command aura is going to really help my guys. Let's make a sprint check, of course, which is a two, so they're good. Oh, and I got to add a pin to these people right here. I can't forget. Full spin. Continuing the trend of maneuvering, I'm going to start bolstering this side of my forces by coming in on this long edge with an Ostman squad. This is one of the light machine gun squads. The Algorin. I'm gonna once again run on with another AI squad, but this time I'm gonna use a portion of my run to actually get into the train. So it's nine inches to get into the train. So I'm just gonna do a sprint check right now. So I get a pin and then the agility test to get through the train, I got a one so I can go full, that's nice. I'll accept it. So I'm gonna go all the way up to here. Oh man, really, really getting threatened by this oncoming wave of orange. Postman. My Varga warriors are going to advance onto the field and perform a, uh, a number of shots against this unit here, attempting to put a secondary pin on them. I have uh, light machine guns and a heavy machine gun. No, you have a one light machine gun with three shots at strike value one, then everybody else has ballistic rifles, which is two shots at strike value zero. What Kevin so, said. <laughs> everybody's hitting on twos in this case because of the terrain and rapid fire. Okay. I got pretty, three hits. Pretty decent. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, and one of them is a lucky. Do you have anything useful? I mean, I got a slaughter drone. Eh, I'll put it on the X launcher. Okay. So I will take one on the leader, the X launcher that Sergey chose, and then a normal guy. My res is up to nine because of the mushroom forest. So I'm good across the board, but I do receive that second pin. Algorin. I shall attempt to do the exact same thing that I did before with the two other AI squads with this one. Now, I, that's wishful thinking. My sprint test, I'm fine. My agility, I am not fine. So I'm actually gonna have to go two and a half inches back to here. Whoa, Austin. And the run and a sprint right on over to there. This is your last Varga unit off the field. Hey, they finally get there. Bastard. My dice is the last dice in the bag, and I have only my infiltrators to go. So basically, these fine ladies of the Algorit Special Forces uh, are unfortunately so far away that they really can't participate. I could run, but I don't even know if a further run after that's going to get me anywhere. So these guys are just going to basically uh, target this unit of Ardenari and try to nullify them in the field. So I'm going to do an advance order of five inches and then fire all of my... Unfortunately, I have rapid fire uh, plasma... Or I'm sorry... Uh, what is it, mag repeaters? So not very good at shooting, but hopefully I can get a one and destroy his high blade booster maybe. So I have 10 shots, all hitting on uh, fours. Huzzah. Okay, well I got the one I wanted. And yep, very statistic, cool. I have four hits, 
makes sense. Uh, Sergey, I will be destroying your Hyperlight Booster with that one, leaving yep. you three guys, uh, strike values here to deal with. Figured as much. Eights, and I'm good. Yep. Henry is my only guy who's down because he's messing around with his, his toy nuclear missile here, and he's fine. And then we have a down all the way over the here. The other infiltrators. And, and they're, they're good too. These caves are heating up. There is a scrum of soldiers over in this corner surrounding the scientist. It's about to be a hail of bullets and blood in the caves of Hugen. Going into turn three, no one's lost a unit and no one's down, so it's eight and seven once again. Turn three, die one. Whoa! I, I saw it, it was the Elgrin. <laughs> Seize that scientist. Oh, we should have had that in the title of the scenario. Seize, Seize the scientist. that scientist. Oh, what a missed opportunity. You <laughs> Lost know, in the dark. For, for all of you, you're going to be really confused up to this point because I'm going to label everything Seize the scientist. <laughs> and you're going to be like, why are they saying Lost in the dark? And then all of a sudden you're going to be like, oh, that's why. That's so funny. So I'm going to have my commander first attempt a charge. Now I must do a command test which I pass and lose my pen. And I'm gonna do, um, I'm not, well, I have to do a sprint to get to you, sorry. And I don't get a pen. Mm -hmm. So Commander Hojo herself is going to be all up in the business of this Warhound Brigade. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Warhound a Brigade. More Warhounds you can't <laughs> see on screen. <laughs> Hopefully I just maul you here. My beast master is uh, it has a mag lash and point blank shooting, which isn't that great. It's three attacks, strike value one, and my two attacks. Two sorry, two attacks, strike value one, and my hounds have nothing. Yeah, and so you have one pin, so you'll be hitting on fours, and then I'm gonna choose to just shoot regular strength carbine shots, which are all strike value twos, hitting on sixes. Plasma carbines. Ooh, oh, all no. hit, and I got a lucky. Uh, you have more units, so I will just, I'm gonna stack two of them on your Beastmaster because obviously if you lose the Beastmaster, you can't hold on to the scientists. Well, no, you're gonna put one on my Beastmaster and the rest of them are gonna go on pounds. So the oh, you're right, you're right, sorry. So I don't want that Beastmaster to die. Hell yeah. Oh no. So I killed one Beast. Is the Beastmaster a leader? That's the yes. Leader. leader does have tough. And I'm good, thank God. So I lose a hound and get a pin, which is pretty brutal. But now I get to flip back with my mag lash. Three, three, two attacks, two attacks. Two attacks. <laughs> oh. Just roll it again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no hits. Oh, so bad. Okay, going into the substantially worse end of where of the combat for me. The Algorin are going to hit on sixes because I, I charge, but uh, my leader has implosion grenades, giving them uh, giving her strike value two, and everybody else has plasma grenades, giving them strike value one. So we'll see how that works. Oh, not bad. Okay, so uh, everybody hit except for one normal dude, but we'll wait and see what survey does with me. All of my attacks are hitting on sixes, and my leader uh, is hitting on strike value one. Their hounds are hitting on strike value two. Leaders in the blue dice. Ooh. Um, Pretty, pretty good. I missed just those. Well, definitely you missed with more of the strike value too, guys. So that's a lot of hits. So let's see here. Yeah, I have five members. So my leader's gonna take two hits. One person's gonna take two, uh, the strike value two hits. And all my other guys are taking one strike value two hits. So my res is uh, uh, sevens brought down to fives. The Algren have impact webs and reflex armor and a natural toughness of six, so that means I am at uh, eight brought down to sixes by the uh, these attacks, sevens by the maglash. So the leader is good. Oh wait, no. Oh yeah, I brought down to seven, we're good. And then this guy is not good. He's dead in the door now. These three, oof, two more dead. Now I have a, med, a single med drone, so one of these gets to reroll. So I have lost two normal guys, unfortunately gaining two pins. And now Sergey must contend with my hits. And I'm good across the board. Well, good. no, not on this one. Yeah, or that one. Uh, I'm like, this one is dead as, uh, just, so only one died. So we're tied in combat. 
Rolling into the second round of combat, because we tied, uh, I am hitting exactly the same as I did before, but with one less dude. Ooh, you hit a lot so, more time. Wow, now. yeah, so I hit with all that. I unfortunately only hit on five now, because no one won. So I missed three times, so I crossed a single strike value two and a single strike value one, so. So unfortunately, I now only have three members. So that means that my guys are taking a lot more hits. So the leader takes two strike value ones and fails both times. So that means she is dead as a doornail. That guy is dead as a doornail. And that guy's dead as a doornail. Oh, Commander Hojo. And I'm totally fine. Oof. So unfortunately for the Algren commander, she was not able to destroy this unit, but honestly, the odds were stacked against her. But really, I had no choice based on initiative, so. What are you gonna do, Sergey? Are you consolidating? Uh, I, I am not going to consolidate, because I definitely see a future where this unit does, uh, it doesn't survive or gets very maimed, uh, and I'm gonna wanna hand off that uh, mm -hmm. objective. Makes sense. Now that her turn is over, it was going to be a follow order. So now this unit of AI infantry is going to follow their commander into glorious combat, okay? Sprinting once again, which is gonna require some tests. My sprint tech is a three, so I do not get a pin. So this unit of AI infantry is going to come on up and try to kill this unit. Now, Sergei's Beastmaster will, of course, have his uh, Maglash, this time, unfortunately, only hitting on threes because he has two pins. Um, and then my leader is going to shoot the X-Ling with implosion grenades, which is inaccurate, so hitting on four. The Grenadiers, uh, accuracy five, and the regular guys are accuracy five. So, heck yes, everything hits except for the X-Ling. The Black Dice are going to be saving on sixes, the other ones on eights. Ooh. That's one dog dead. And a lash in the back. And Ooh. missing twice. Oh. Unfortunately, that puts me to half casualty, and my command is only four now. And yeah. yep. Okay, he drives me from the field and picks up the objective. Ah! You've gotten my scientist! One of the coolest units ever, though. Oh, yeah, I really like that unit. <laughs> so, yes, an order dice has been taken out of the bag for the Ostman. I now have the scientist. And I will use my consolidation to just go five inches back, which doesn't get me that far. Yeah, it's still pretty brutal. Oh no! Yes. Oh no, that's so get bad. Wrecked. I am of course going to try to defend the point or the objective as best I can. Yeah, and so a very survey <laughs> honorless meat. Yes, I'm gonna do. sprint with this unit. I'm gonna just roll the sprint because it does not matter to get through the terrain. You can't get stopped by it. This is order dice. Damn it! So my sprint test. And I got a four, so I don't get a pin. Oh my god! So I'm gonna end up being. Did you do your terrain test too. It doesn't matter. I, it, if, even if I go half. Okay. No, I don't actually. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah. What am I talking about? Yeah, yeah it's you important. Got maneuver really. Out the okay, so injury. basically these guys are going to create just a meat shield. Yeah. Where you can't walk through them. Oh boy. What would you do now? Oh, would you? So I'll get to find out. Fortunately for me, the Ostman have very little concept of collateral damage, so I'm just gonna fire full auto <laughs> into the squad and pray to God I don't hit my scientist. Um, You're like, Doc! <laughs> so it's firing order, so it's up to six, down for rapid fire, so it's gonna be 12 shots hitting on five. Yep. Ooh, oh, one went off the field. Oh. Wow. We well know. done. Okay. So five. That's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty statistical, I think. Did you hit? Oh, you hit six times. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. So uh, all of these are strike value zero. Uh, I have a leader. I have two grenadiers and two regular guys. So I will have my leader be brave because everybody, like I said, strike value seven. So regular guy is dead. Leader is good. So Sergey killed one regular guy and gave me a pin. Further cheese, Sergey. I removed a guy from right here, meaning there's not, a, not enough of a gap between those two units for him to get through. So the line is unfaltered. Oh boy. Yay. I actually don't know what you're going to do with this, but nothing can be good for me. I'm going to attempt to use 
this unit. Oh god, you need to. If Henry failed, you need to fail. I keep forgetting to have spotters for everybody. Well, you got an advantage in combat. Uh, uh, so I have to do a six or lower, which I do, uh, so I lose a pin. And now I'm going to do the terrain test. Now that I have expertly positioned myself in a form of the Algren Conga line, uh, I shall fire now. Um, I have a pin, so I'm not gonna use the X-Sling with implosion. I'm just gonna have three mag guns and the two grenadiers by fire. I'm going to be shooting through terrain at these guys right here, meaning I'm only gonna be hitting on twos. <laughs> oh my God, I got two twos. And I've run out of ammo with the implosion grenades on one grenadier, or the uh, uh, overload ammo on one grenadier. I'm gonna re-roll and get a four, so we're good. So two shots at strike value ones, which means you have uh, four res. Do you want to use the leader? Yeah. Okay, so uh, one normal guy's dead. Leader's fine. God. Oh wait, no, the leader's not fine. Yeah, no, he's not fine. <laughs> oh, 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 I killed a leader no. and a normal guy. Oof, unfortunately for Sergey, well, actually you take the, the, the commander, but do you want to take the regular guy away in the back? Yeah, yeah. So two guys out of that squad in a single pin. Rough business. Oh, ah, it's Algren again. Stop it. Stop it right now. I have such a good position on the other side of the field that I'm actually kind of worried about this Vardenar unit just randomly chilling. So while it has less res, I'm going to try to pump it more full of lead. So five inch advance order with these dudes. My, well, not dudes, my Algren ladies. Special forces moving up and they're going to do all their shots into that unit. So it's once again, 10 shots hitting on fours. Huzzah! Okay, not great, not great at all. No one, although that wasn't necessarily super important. I will be able to get to reroll one because I have a spotter. Still misses, so that's three strike value uh, zero hits that Sergey has to contend with, but most more importantly, this thing hit. Oh man, okay, so that's one dead. Things are not looking up oui, for hey. the Varger Free Warren Alliance. Postman. The wolf does not fear the dark, for it is a creature of its. I'm forming a run order uh, with these guys and sprinting all the way over to here. I'm hoping to peel away this gross algorithm and onion. Yes. <laughs> uh, I do need a sprint check. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, thank God. Okay, the Varger Warriors, there are five with ballistic rifles, so that's 10 shots hitting on fours because of rapid fire at strike value zero. But he does have a light machine gun, which is a support weapon, so it's minus one, minus one for rapid fire as well. So he has three shots, strike value one, hitting on threes. And then the uh, Algren, unfortunately, have a pin. So I have three mag guns being fired at uh, strike value one, hitting on fours and then the uh, overload ammo hits on three because of an accurate. Yeah! Ooh, that's pretty bad. Um, okay. Wow. Oh, that's really bad. No, not terrible. That's not great. You hit four times. Yeah, okay, that's okay. What is the lucky? Uh, the lucky... Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. I have four guys left. Yeah. So, uh, I will annotate the Grenadiers. Uh, oh, the yellow grenadier will have the ammo still. So I am saving uh, sevens down to, or no, seven, sorry. Oof, so my regular guy is dead, everybody else is fine. Now shooting back. Ooh, yes. Um, so these two miss, I can reroll one for the spotter drone, which I can't. Did you sprint? Yeah, I sprinted. Oh, the one stays, which is my overload, which is nice. So I only hit you once with the overload. It's a lucky, so I'm gonna put it on your leader. Oh, shit. Deader than a door nail. Wait, wait, wait. Deader oh. than a door nail. Ha <laughs> ha! I take a pin and lose at my last regular dude. And Sergey <laughs> takes an extra pin. If you're gonna give my pin, I'll so take your pin. We, we just had to like reshoot that because we kept like, couldn't figure out yeah. who's putting the pin down. <laughs> and your leader's dead. So we're moving into combat. We have um, my leader has an X Sling with implosion grenades, and my two grenadiers are armed with plasma grenades. And you now have five guys basically just with this, unless you want to throw their dangerous high explosive grenades. What, what are, the, are the stats on the high explosive grenades? D3 hits, strike value zero, hazardous hand-to-hand. -hand. Yeah, I'm using them. 
That means Sergey's will hit Sergey's will hit on sixes, where mine will hit on five. Kill me, I'm here! Ah! Oh, you're terrible! Oh! <laughs> he only hits once. Oh my but god. But it does generate a D3, so you never know. That's so you got awful. one in there. Hey, okay. two. So two strike value zero hits. I will take one in the leader. So I'm good on both accounts. Now, the rebuttal. Hitting on fives. Hell yeah, I hit every time, get wrecked. So these are strike value ones, this is a strike value two, and you have no leaders left. Oh! So you handily, oh yeah. Okay. So his res, oh wait, 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 no. You are unmodified by pins, and you rolled a seven. Oh wait, no, you lost your leader. Shit, yeah, you're dead. Well, I think Sergey thought he had me. I did. I, mean, <laughs> I truly thought that was a good move. But that Barger Warrior Squad, while brave, was slaughtered. Oh, it's been. Uh, Henry is going to get his face up against this wall and start shouting, <laughs> shouting in that pinned unit. You better not mess this up. You better not mess this up. I don't know how to use this nuke. I need Whoa. help. <laughs> nope, they went from like leadership six to 10. So that's a good move. Yeah, yeah. Ostman, charge! This unit, buffed by Henry, is going to try to charge yeah. that Algren squad. And they pass. You do, so you lose okay. your pin. Are you sprinting? Uh, give me a second. I am not going to sprint. Uh, I'm going to rely on his pins, making him crappier, because I need to outpin him here. Yeah, I mean, so I have two pins. So in shooting, I have two regular mag guns and a uh, uh, overload hitting on, it would be, Oh God, it would be down three. So twos and threes respectively. And then Sergey has three ballistic rifles. So six shots strike value zero hitting on fours. And then his light machine gun is three shots hitting on threes at strike value one. Blue dice are threes, red dice are fours. All Lucky. right, that's okay. Oh, that's so okay. One strike value one hitting on whoever you want. Uh, I'll have it hit on the non-leader. The guy with ammo. The guy with ammo, okay. Yeah. And then I have to assign, so I have to assign one to every single person. So I'm going to have the, uh, the guy with ammo is taking the strike value one, and he's fine. Uh, and then the last dude, regular, well, non-ammo guy, might as well be regular. Yes! Is eight and is dead. So I take one pin and I did lose, I have half my guys gone. Four, I have, so I'm good. Three, yeah. three pins, four, my leadership is seven. I'm hitting on threes and twos. Oh my God, you oh. gotta be kidding me. So the two hits, the one hits, and then I have a reroll for my spotter. Oh. Ah! You're kidding me. Yes, and he didn't sprint because you're a dingus. So oh my God. Um, the lucky will go on your machine gun. So he's strike value. He's fine. One. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that so guy's actually guy fine because it's five down to two. Yep. So your regular dude dies. So you have also taken half. So your leadership is unmodified. Oh! Oh, God! Wow! I said, living in the prosperous. Oh, my God. Uh, and, uh, and, and. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> this last unit of uh, infiltrators is going to now basically just run and sprint so that they can be close enough to actually do something in the following turn. So that is just a sprint test. That's a pin, I can't roll it. <laughs> oh, I, order dice, I understand, that was a pin. Yes, <laughs> I didn't get a pin. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Ostman. There's only one pathway to victory for me right now, and it's to kill this unit unscathed and then charge this unit at the very beginning of next turn. Mm -hmm. uh, so in service of that plan, I'm going to walk these guys right up to the edge of this unit and uh, just Tommy gun them down, hopefully. <laughs> um, so you have accuracy six. Are you using rapid fire or single shot? I will be using... I need to get the pin. I'm going to yeah, so cause you can use actually pin rapid down, fire. Yeah. yeah, rapid fire is the way to go. Uh, I misspoke. I'm actually going to do single shots for the strike value. Uh, and oh my god! Well, you 
Zillow had two luckies at least. Okay, so this is the, well. No, nah, well, I mean, you basically get to choose how I stack it. It doesn't matter, they're the same, right? No, well, one's a leader. Oh, one's a leader? Yeah. Oh, so stack it on the non-leader. Yeah, say. hell yeah. So, uh, <laughs> leader, non-leader, it's strike value two, so I am down to uh, fives. Come on. So leader is dead, leader uh, is good. Okay, come on, come on. He's dead. Yes! Because he only had strike, or, uh, That's an extra pin. Seven. Which means you have to take a command test now. Yep. Yes! And I'm done. I have a chance. Because yep. of that, I have a very slight chance. Yep, well you really wanted to take that order dice out of the bag. Algorithm. My last unit is the Hazard Squad, and they are kind of out of the fight where they're at, but um, I'm just gonna have them maneuver. So first I'll do an agility test. They're good, they don't get uh, slowed down by this. And then I'm gonna do a sprint check. Oh my god, so we're good. Oh my, you're, you're <laughs> okay. almost today. So, Goodness gracious. Agility test, no. So, and the final position of my surprisingly <laughs> agile hazard warriors. <laughs> ha! I have two order dice left in the bag. And I'm not gonna really be using it for anything not exciting. <laughs> These guys are going to move forward. Whoa. And they need to do a command test. Sorry, I'm talking for getting back. Are you sprinting? Uh, no. Um, they passed because of Henry. Actually, yeah, I definitely should sprint. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll sprint, sorry. Otherwise, you're not gonna get very far. Uh, and I'm good. And you're good. Finally. So you lose your pen, and you get to move 15 total inches. Okay, right up against the Vardinari to help out. That makes sense. Go down. Go down, you piece of dog crap. Do it. Now, what do I'm, it. I'm going to do to prevent going down is I'm actually just going to do a regret. No! You yep. bastard. Yep. Their, their only use is putting an order dice in the bag. So recovery order. Ah, oh, you fail! You fail! Oh my god. What does that mean? I don't even remember. I think you go down and lose a pen. Yay! Unfortunately, that means I do go down. I do lose a pin, which is good. So hopefully I just rally that. Yeah, but stay down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, do you have anybody down? Uh, oh, yeah, I, I <laughs> might, I might. They're good, okay, thank God. Bastard, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, do in you, the end. Do you have anybody? No. no I I yeah, nobody else is down, that'd be cool. It seems these caves have sprung an endless wellspring of blood. Bodies are piling up around the scientist who is probably terrified. It's... No, I would. It's probably Kevin's game. We'll see, but it's probably Kevin's game. Going into turn four. By some freak accident of the battlefield, it is now five and five. So it is even. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? I want this dice. You better not get this dice. Turn the Varger have the side of righteousness on them. Rick Priest do a lot. Yeah, the Outrider gotta just be. Yeah, they're, they're like, wait, 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 what are you doing? Ah, oh, the oh, oh. I will obviously do a normal run. What will we get? We'll, we'll get me right here. I don't know why I gave it cockney there for a second. <laughs> right here with the scientist. Oh man. Having been captured. He's grim. Oh boy. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Ghostman. Okay. Now. My line to victory has become uh, pretty absurd, okay? I would have to charge into this unit here with my Vardinari and kill them, <laughs> move out of the way, and then charge this unit all the way over here with my medics, kill them, and somehow survive. It's, okay, it's almost impossible. <laughs> I'm gonna just see if I can even do the first move of it. I'm going to charge with these Vardinari before I flee the field. <laughs> I am not sprinting, so uh, no roll here. I'm Boy, going to shoot man. regular shots. Uh, I'll be hitting on sixes. Yep. With strike value two. Is that a spotter drone? Do I have a spotter drone? Oh, no. Sometime? You also forgot about your spotter drone. Oh, drop. my God. I'm terrible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're terrible. Um, but uh, I'll have res five against your attacks, and then, unfortunately, I'm shooting back only hitting on fours because I have mag repeaters. Well, what am I talking about? I'll throw implosion grenades. So I will uh, also yes. hit, on, I'll hit on fives, also strike value two. Algorin, I mean, sorry, Ooh. the opposite of Algorin. Only missed once, you get a reroll. No, so still four. Pretty good. Um, what am I? Oh, just uh, fives. I have no medic. Oh, so you killed two people right off the gate. Okay. So that's one pin. Now they are going to shoot back from the grave. Hitting on fives. Oh, so I only hit twice. They do compact. 
And it's a lucky? So I don't that, know how that, that works. Now this might make sense to stack it if you'd like to. Oh, uh, guy with four? No, I'm not, I'll just have it be... No, I don't. Doesn't, I'm sorry. It doesn't come out because they're they're not, they have two people. So um, I will put it on. Well, that's what I'm saying. You could you could stack it with your lucky, and it would be better. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, so uh, who are you gonna put it on? Uh, non-leader. So then I will just put it on two non-leaders. Okay. Oof. So that guy dies. Yes, because I don't have uh, hyperlight. But do I have my medic? Not, not even close. <laughs> so we each lose a guy, and we eat. Oh, I'm sorry, I lost two guys. So I lost two guys, but we both get a pin. Now, me in close combat, the exact same thing. I'm just using implosion grenades, but I'm only hitting. All right, I only have four guys now, or three guys now. And then you have just plasma grenades, but you're hitting on sixes. Ordinary. Okay, it's not bad. I still have a leader. So I am sixes. Sixes, yep. Yeah. Oof. Yep. Come on. Damn. Yeah. So nothing from close combat in the first round. My three chicks hit back. Oh. One hit. Okay. So we're gonna strike value two. Oh! And so, you win the combat. No, so. no, because I have. Oh yeah, 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 yeah two yeah. pins and I have so, one. You're still in the combat. You only have uh, you're I eight. Two pins. Correct. So you have eight. Three, six. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Now that I've won the combat, I'm hitting on sixes. Sergey's hitting on three or fives, and we have the same nine guys now. Barnari. Ooh. 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 Rough business. Oh. Ooh. Okay, they're all non-leaders now, and one is dead, putting me another pin up. And okay. you're done. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I have been defeated! <laughs> so obviously it's impossible for me to win now. If you look down here, I would have to charge through these infiltrators with just these two guys, and it's just... There's no... <laughs> Henry might as well just cut his losses at this point. Yeah, yeah. So unfortunately for the Oastman, the scientists understanding the enriched nuclear weapon that is their their savior is gonna uh, they're gonna have to juke Sergey because I have captured him. Oh. <laughs> as soon as the Algorand forces were able to capture the Osman scientists, they disappeared into the shadows of the cave network, never to be seen again. What would we do now, Commander? We needed that expert to operate the outsiders' tech. Fear not, my warriors. This device still bears the work of our people's hands and can be detonated manually when the time is right. But Commander, th that would mean- Fugin will sing songs and tell tales of our deeds until the end of days. To the gates, my warriors! Cry havoc and let loose the verbs of war! It appears that superior Algorand tactics and honor-bound warriors have won the fight today. Honor-bound? You, you literally, you went to an, <laughs> an indigenous culture. You were like, join, <laughs> join our kingdom so we can protect you from this other guy. We said no, and then you just attacked us vindictively. Hey, with the deal was off, <laughs> you didn't choose our honorable treaty. And yeah. so we chose dishonorable, yeah. shady battles. Just, uh, yeah, horrible. <laughs> I guess a, they were. This is a black mark on the honor <laughs> of the Algren Prospect. They, ju they just assumed you were going to join them, and when you didn't, it, it threw a, a wrench in the cogs, I guess. But mm -hmm. uh, Hojo didn't survive the operation, no, unfortunately. She, she was murdered. She Which, gave her yeah, life. She deserved for doing something so horrible. <laughs> but now, you know. Well, uh, Henry's gonna have to make the, uh, some kind of tough decision, I think, because I don't know how you're gonna pull it off. Some kind of tough decision, he, he, he thinks. He, he, he knows what the story's gonna be like. <laughs> He's like, oh, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> but uh, but that was a really fun fight. Um, yeah. I liked it as a variation on our Viridian Viper well, I really, scenario. And I really like this. The, the coming out from the sides, I think, really made it much bloodier in the side. Yeah. Because a, a lot of, you know, it, and it prevented that, 
because I would have just gotten away. Yeah. And there would have been no friction at all. Yeah. So. Well, that's always the tough part about these scenarios, which is why I thought it best that we start off on the short edges. Yeah. Because then it just gave us more room to... I, just, I really yeah. like that. I really think maybe that's the solution to all these. Yeah. Well, because all the other ones, you're like yeah. running back so fast. And it's just like a two-minute scenario. Mm -hmm. This one was like really back and forth. Yeah, because it was decided on... That was turn four. So. Turn four. Okay. And it, like a very bloody turn three. And the Algren, like I said, the Algren don't often do well for me, but they did really well today. Yeah, was, <laughs> they really was like an AI, well, was the AI squad killed two well, units. Well, you, you guys all just like, you took your combat stims or whatever, because you were just sprinting through the caves like it was nothing. Yep. And it's well, always, I guess don't Algren uh, live under the crust of their That's planet? true. Yeah, this I is like this is their home, home train. They're totally fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> but everybody else was probably, because it would be dark. It would be like, there would have been spot, there been flashlights were the yeah, only thing yeah. that would have been, you know, IR readers It would be like one of the Halo levels where all the lights are out. Yeah. It was like a flood. <laughs> <laughs> Get that shotgun. But um, so sweet. So we'll uh, see how the narrative continues. Um, and uh, well, no, we know how the narrative continues because it plays before this. We're dolts. Yeah, you can. They you, already you, know. You, you're hearing. We're hinting you're already... at something you've already heard. <laughs> Whatever. But uh, once again, the guy who inspired this campaign. Thank you, Michael Crow, amazing patron. And uh, we like to thank all of our patrons. Uh, including the council of our uh, uh, commanders. Nick Hobbs. Elizabeth Allen. Will O'Connell. Amelia. And Les Stevenson. As well as our brave tabletop warlords, Knight Silver. And once again, Michael Crow. That's two thank yous. And as always, from the bottom of our very empty, dim-lit souls. I don't know why we have bad souls. They're filled. <laughs> they're, they're empty because now they're filled with the light of our Emperor John Roberts. Long may he reign.